What's up guys and welcome back to another Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 discussion video. I did this earlier in the month when we talked about the March calendar update and now today I'm going to be talking about something entirely different but still a discussion video. It is the future of the Garden Warfare franchise. Will there be a Garden Warfare 3? Now this is a question I get asked all the time so hopefully this will sort of be my one stop answer for it because there's actually been a decent amount of news pointing towards the future of the PvZ franchise within the last few days, weeks, etc. First off, a lot of people think there's a Garden Warfare 3 coming up. There have been job opportunities at PopCap being posted on their official website showing that they are working on something PVZ related that hasn't been revealed. And it's just a lot of little facts like that. So we're going to be talking about that in today's video. But before we do, I just want to say that if you have any opinions on any of this, don't be shy. Feel free to let me know them in the comment section below. Because when it comes to speculating, it's always fun. But to get a good idea on what the future might hold, it's always good to get as many opinions as possible. With that being said, I'm gonna be talking about Garden Warfare 3. Why do people think Garden Warfare 3 might be announced soon? Well, if you look at the track record for the Garden Warfare franchise so far, you can see a very obvious pattern. In E3 of 2013, Garden Warfare 1 was announced. In early 2014, Garden Warfare was released. In E3 of 2015, Garden Warfare 2 was announced. In early 2016, Garden Warfare 2 is released. So it seems like Garden Warfare 2 is releasing on a bi-yearly series or an every other year setup. What that means is you might know games like Call of Duty or Madden or FIFA, they have a yearly setup where they release every single year. So far, it looks like they might actually be leaning towards for Garden Warfare 2, a bi-yearly setup so that every other year, or at least up to Garden Warfare 3, maybe we'll have ourselves a Garden Warfare 2 game every other year. Who knows? That's sort of like why people already expect there to be Garden Warfare 3 announced at E3. But that's not enough information on its own to just assume that Garden Warfare 3 is releasing, which is why we got interesting chunk of information just a moment ago. So once again, PopCap on their website has a career opportunities page where you can visit that and see what career opportunities PopCap is looking for. They are looking to hire people so that, you know, they post it on their website so people who might fit that job description can find it and apply. With that being said, they all are Plants vs. Zombies related. If you look at the top of the Career Opportunities page, it says Career Opportunities, Plants vs. Zombies, Game Designer, and Scripter. They are also looking for two other jobs under Plants vs. Zombies, which is the Gameplay Engineer and the Senior Rendering Engineer. We're going to be talking about all three, but the most important one right now is the Game Designer slash scriptern. Why this is so important is because it says on there, and I quote, we are currently seeking a designer slash scripter to help us create engaging mission experiences for an upcoming shooter. The successful applicant will work with the design team to prototype, build, and polish gameplay. So right there we have some interesting information. First off, upcoming shooter. What other shooters are there under the Plants vs. Zombies tag? Currently nothing, so this might already have a high likelihood of being in Garden Warfare 3. Second part of that is upcoming, so they're not being they're not hiring people to work on what's currently happening. They're hiring people to work on something probably new. So that's actually pretty exciting. It also talks about what, what they expect that person to do, like using internal development tools to prototype, build, and polish scripted missions and gameplay elements. And if you read the whole list, you can see it on screen right now, you can see that it seems very focused towards level design and single player design. So if there is a Garden Warfare 3, it might look like it'll have an even more polished single player experience than Garden Warfare 2 did, or at least that is the focus. Maybe they're looking for somebody to make an entirely fleshed out campaign mode for Garden Warfare 3, or maybe this won't even be an online game at all. What if it's an entirely single player game? We have no clue at this point. I highly doubt it will be because I think every game since, you know, Garden Warfare 1 has had some kind of online presence to it, so I don't think we're going to be hopping away from that anytime soon. With that being said, there are still two other job opportunities. The one that um, doesn't really have too much information to it is the gameplay engineer. It just talks about, of course, being a gameplay engineer, but doesn't give any information really about how they're going to be doing things, just more that they are going to be working with other people at PopCap to help create whatever games they create. But then the senior render, 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 the senior rendering engineer, which if you don't know what that means, it's basically, from my knowledge, the art side of things. They are responsible for making things um, render and appear onto the game, or at least be in charge of that whole department. That 
actually has some important information on it that I don't see other people mentioning that's actually really vital to decide whether this is Garden Warfare 3 or something entirely different. So if you look on the setup, the key responsibilities for the rendering engineer, one thing you can see, uh, you must have experience shipping multiple AAA titles on modern hardware, and they mention that again later on the page with PS4, Xbox, and PC. What that means is that they're looking to make a full-on console game, just like the Garden Warfare franchise. So that means this isn't going to be like PBZ3 on you know iPad, or at least we don't think it will be, because they're looking for people who know what they're doing on a major AAA console. The second thing is that it says that you'll be making things on the Frostbite game engine, which if you do not know, that is the game engine that Garden Warfare 2 runs on. Not the one that Garden Warfare 1 runs on, but the one that Garden Warfare 2 runs on, which is why they're sort of different, but that's a different topic. But that means, obviously, it has a really high likelihood of being Garden Warfare 3 because it's on the same exact game engine. It doesn't mean guaranteed, though. This could be a different game on the same engine. That happens quite often. So, what we have so far is that this is an upcoming game, shooter, on the consoles and is on the same engine as Garden Warfare. That sort of makes me and most people believe that this is going to be Garden Warfare 3. Now, will it be announced this E3? Who knows? Because if you've ever been a creative person, if you make things constantly, you might know that sometimes artistic endeavors fall through. To say that this guarantees or confirms anything would be a stretch. Obviously, how could they make something if they still haven't hired the people they want to make it? <laughs> so, to say God of War 3 confirmed as being a, you know confirmed at E3, that'd be totally out of the water. It would probably be a bit of a hop, skip, and a jump to say that, but it means that something similar to what God of War 3 might be is in the works, and that is huge. Now, of course, is it a good idea? That's the next big question. Is it a good idea to make God of War 3? It's good and it's bad. It's always awesome to see more God of War action, no matter how it comes, because God of War 1 and 2 have been amazing, so much fun, which is why I love a God of War 3, but at the same time, I feel like there's nothing wrong with God of War 2. I don't think there's, like, really a need to replace it as much as there is a need to continually improve Garden Warfare 2. Like, what would Garden Warfare 3 have that Garden Warfare 2 doesn't have? And I know the instant answer will be, oh, new DLC, new maps, new characters, but it's like, all of those things could already be added to Garden Warfare 2 and have been added to Garden Warfare 2. So what would be the purpose of Garden Warfare 3, except for the biggest thing I would assume is another big story mode, but even that they could tackle onto Garden Warfare 2 just like they did the Trials and Nomis Trials. So it's just sort of weird. I just hope it isn't ends up, you know, just being something to make EA more money. It's actually something that the game needs. They have an idea that's so big and so huge that they just simply need another game to support it. And you know what? That idea I can get behind. There's also the talk, of course, what if it isn't Garden Warfare? What games could it be? I mean, for the last year or two, I've been begging for a Plants vs. Zombies Mario Kart clone. Even if it's like an unapologetic energetic Mario Kart clone. That'd be so much fun because there's so many colorful characters and wonderful environments in the PvZ universe that a Mario Kart clone or a Mario, Mario Party clone would be amazing. But there's still one final theory that people are getting into is that this is actually not Garden Warfare 3, but this is a Garden Warfare 2 port onto the Nintendo Switch. That one's a bit of a stretch as well because they have never made um, well, the, the only PBZ game that's on a Nintendo console, I think, is the original Plants vs. Zombies is on the Nintendo DS, the original DS. I think that's the only PBZ game that has touched Nintendo consoles, so that one is a huge stretch, but an exciting possibility. Imagine bringing Garden Warfare 2 on the go. Sounds like fun. With that being said, that's all of the information I can gather. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section because speculation can be a lot of fun as long as it doesn't get out of hand. If nothing's confirmed until it's confirmed, remember that. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.